It's six o'clock. It come to the hour where we have announcement period. Um, I think the first one we have in the queue is Councilman Coleman. You're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. We'd like to announce a very important meeting for the uh, neighbors in the Antioch area. Uh, we're going to be talking about the property at 520 Collins Park Drive. As you know, it's set beside the Cracker Barrel, and uh, the property next to it has been empty quite a while. We're going to meet on February the 3rd at the Country Inn Suite, 400 Collins Park Drive at 645. I want all my neighbors from the 32nd District as well as any other district that might be interested to come out to the meeting. This is an area that uh, can be viewed from the interstate. It's quite unsightly. Hopefully we'll have a good product to go in, but that will be determined by the neighbors' questions and answer at the meeting. So again, I'm asking that all my neighbors come out, the drive time operation, uh, something similar to a CarMax, would like to do a location out there, but we'll make that determination once the meeting sell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. Thank you, Councilman Coleman. Uh, the next in the queue is Council Lady Moore. Thank you, Chair. I have several announcements here. Uh, first, I want to give some birthday wishes to Ann Deal, uh, who is a longtime resident of South Nashville. She's turned 90 years of age, so I want to wish Ann Deal a happy birthday celebration, who is 90 years of age. And I also want to give out birthday wishes to Regina Bass, who will have her birthday as well this month. If also. Um, Save the date. There is a job fair for uh, youth on March the 19th, 2011, and I will be announcing this again as well. Um, the uh, this is the third annual youth job fair for youth. Uh, it's a youth activities and job readiness fair, and the target audience is youth ages 14 to 18 years of age, and the location is the Nashville Convention Center. So save the date, which is March Saturday, March the 19th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Again, the location will be the Nashville Convention Center. In the Edge Hill area, they're launching a the Nashville Mobile Market, and it will. Uh, this event will be held on February the 5th uh, at the Edge Hill Apartments Management o Office located at 1277 12th Avenue South. So please come out and support this effort. It starts at 1 o'clock p.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. Again, this is the Nashville Mobile, mobile Market. Uh, they're launching this market and also they're going to do it the whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, at Saturday, they're going to do it at the park at Hillside. And then on Sunday, they're going to do it at Edge Hill Center. So please come out and support the Nashville Mobile Market. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Council Lady Moore. Councilman Hodge, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, this coming Saturday, February the 5th, uh, we will have a district cleanup in District 30. It will be at Haywood Lane and I-24. Parking will be next to the Kangaroo Market off of Ezel Linbar in the office complex there. In the event of inclement weather, we will postpone and do another time. But if weather is good, we will be there at 8.30 for a couple of hours this Saturday morning. David Birdsong, our beautification commissioner, will be coordinating. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Hodge. Are there any other announcements? Council Lady Will Hoyt. Yes, thank you, Speaker Pro Tem. I just have two very brief announcements. Uh, first, I would like to, to express condolences to the family of uh, Mrs. D. Omega. Whitfield, Mrs. D. Omega Whitfield was a member of the Mount Zion Baptist Church, one of the longest living men members, passing away at the age of 101. And we like to express our condolences to her family. We appreciate the public service that she's provided to our community, and I know that she'll be greatly missed. So we'd like to send those condolences to Mrs. D. Omega Whitfield's family. 
Also, I would like to extend uh, congratulations to Mr. Larry Cole. Mr. Cole is known by many of us as Coach Cole. He is an employee with the um, Metro Public Health Department. Mr. Cole was inducted very re recently in the Old Timers Baseball Hall of Fame. He's a very close friend of our family, and he has been a wonderful attribute to the um, to the uh, uh, or to the organization and sport of baseball. So we appreciate him and congratulate him on his induction. Thank you. Thank you, Council Lady Will Hoyt. Council Lady Langster. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for recognizing me. Um, I have two very sad announcements on the front on, on the front of my announcement. I know we all read in the paper about uh, Clinton Butch McCord. He was very much a part of the Negro Baseball League, not only in this state, but in this United States of America. And he will have, uh, he will be funeralized on tomorrow, Wednesday, visitation 10 to 12, and funeral starts at 12. Uh, and his wife, Mrs. Christine McCord, she has been a strong person. Uh, they are two hard workers side by side, uh, very strong. AKA person and uh, principal at Metro um, Moses McKissick Elementary School, but they were a beautiful couple together. And so we must pray for Mrs. McCord during this time. Also, Mr. Tom Epperson, a lot of us know Mr. Tom Epperson. He was a hard worker at the State Department of La uh, Labor and Workforce Development, but he was an extra hard, devoted working person in his neighborhood, the 1700 block of Cass Street in the district, no matter if it was the federal level, state level, or local level. He put his heart and soul into working uh, to make the community better. His front yard was like a mini cheek wood. It was just simply beautiful. And we send our condolences to his son, his only son, Quito, and his wife. Um, on a happy note, yesterday there were several people I didn't know that celebrated their birthday. Uh, Councilman Forkham celebrated a, a birthday. And also uh, Tommy Lynch of Metro Parks and Recreation. He also celebrated a birthday on January 31st. And as Mr. Gatto is telling me, Representative Gatto is telling me, I had a birthday January 31st, January 31st. Yes, I'm a day older, a year older, and a day wiser, Mr. Kratt. Yes, I'm sticking on, on whatever I'm on. I'm, I'm going to stay with it. But uh, I want to thank the, um, the waitress at Loveless um, Restaurant and Cafe. On Sunday, we went there for dinner, and she stood up in her chair, Mr. Speaker, and had every Everyone join in with her singing happy birthday and I really felt honored with that uh, and her name is Katie so when you can go up highway 100 and visit the biscuit ladies place thank you very much and thank you council lady Langster we'll try to get with uh, councilman Crafton and see if we can get them trains moved away from behind your house uh, also I want to say that uh, I knew Tom Everson he was on the board at the time that I served as director of MAC, and I truly, truly wish his family the best because he was a truly a hardworking individual. Thank you very much. Uh, Council Lady Will Hort. Are you back on? I have another. Wait a minute. Let's get Langster first, and then we'll get back with you. Thank Council you, Mr. Lady. Chair. Uh, a lot of constituents uh, have been asking me about when will work begin on the West Precinct on Charlotte. I am happy to inform you that our finance director, Mr. Rich Reblin, directed me to say that construction, Mr. Reblin, construction is beginning as we speak, will be soon, and you will see a noticeable difference as it heads toward the spring and dry days, warmer days. So keep your eye out. Um, that's going to be a very positive thing for North Nashville, West Nashville, and the entire city of Nashville. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Council Lady Langster. Council Lady Wilhort. Uh, I just want to say on behalf of the Metro Council, we'd like to wish uh, Council Lady Eve Langster a very, ha very special happy birthday. We need to give her a round of applause. Thank you, Council Lady Will Hoyt. 
Are there any other announcements? Don't, don't do me. Don't do me. I'm through. I'm good. Yeah, I, I am too, I'm any more announcements? The announcement period is now closed.